for our third video for lesson 5.1 we're going to talk about three um, three ways to solve or three problems to solve with fractions the first problem we're going to talk about is when you're the whole is given and a part is given and you need to name the fraction the second problem we're going to talk about is when the fraction is or the whole is given the fraction is named and the number of parts needs to be found and then the third problem is a part is given the fraction is named and then the whole needs to be found so for the first one we're going to do just a, a real basic we're going to do a square so we have one whole square and it's divided into four parts three of those parts are shaded in. So what fraction does that represent? And hopefully you said or thought three-fourths. That would be the correct answer. There's three shaded. There's four total parts. So out of the whole thing, three-fourths of the shape is shaded. Uh, same thing like this kind of problem and these are some wonderfully drawn apples you know my artistic skills are fantastic I did not get any from my grandmother so we have one two three four five six seven apples and we gave away three of the apples we gave these away what fraction of apples do we have left if we started with seven we gave away three of them what fraction of apples do we have left well out of the total our total was seven so that's our denominator we have four left so we still have four sevenths of our apples remaining so that's uh, naming a fraction when you have the whole and the part. Okay, our next problem. We're going to go with apples again. This time, I am not going to draw the apples because that will take a while. So we have 16 apples. And I want to know how many apples would represent one-fourth of the total and how many apples would represent three-fourths of the total. When you have problems like this, you're going to look at what represents the whole. So in this case, it's 16. Then you're going to divide by the denominator. So in this problem, it's 4. So 16 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. That is going to give us our answer to one-fourth. So one-fourth of 16 apples would be four apples. Now, once we've figured out one-fourth, we can figure out what three-fourths would be. And we could do that two ways. We could add or we could multiply. So if we look at the numerator, three-fourths would be three one-fourths so we'd have four plus four plus four which would be twelve so twelve apples would represent three-fourths another way of thinking about it would be taking the numerator three times the number of apples we got for one-fourth so three times four would equal twelve 12 apples. So that's how we would, uh, one way that you could solve a problem when the whole is given and the fraction is named, you want to know how many um, parts that is. And our last problem here, I'm going to stick with apples. So we have 18 apples. And those 18 apples represent two-thirds 
of a of a total number of apples. So if I have two thirds of the apples, you would have one third of the apples, and we need to figure out how many total apples that would be. Now there's a number of ways to do it. The first one I'm going to show you is we're going to stick with the, the number that we have and um, the numerator in this case. Not the denominator, we're going to go with the numerator in this case. So in this case it would be 18 divided by 2 which would equal 9. So if 18 apples is, is 2 thirds, 9 apples would represent 1 third of the apples. And if we took then the 18 apples as 2 thirds, 9 apples as 1 third, that would be 3 thirds, or the whole amount. And so the, the total number of apples that we'd have is 27 apples. Represents the whole number, the whole amount of apples. Make sure if you have any questions, you let Mr. Brandt know. And we'll see you next time.